All right, our job is to use the laws of logarithms to simplify this expression. What can we do? Well, when you have lots of numbers like this and it's looking kind of overwhelming, think about what would be nice. What would really be nice here? Well, it would be nice if this was a power of two. Hint, it is, right? Two to the 10th is 1024. And it'd also be nice if I could relate 64 by square root of eight, which I can. I could say, well, um, the square, the square root of eight, I know eight squared is 64, and I know that the square root of eight squared is eight. All right, so eight times eight is 64, and eight is also the same thing as the square root of eight squared. All right, so the square root of eight squared times the square root of eight squared is the square root of eight to the fourth, which is also 64, because after all, that is just eight times eight. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I would then rewrite it. 6 log base 2 of 2 to the 10th to the x plus log base square root of 8 of the square root of 8 to the 4th of x. Then I've got these two exponents. I can bring those down in the front and multiply. It's a property of logarithms. But before I do that, I should use my law of exponents and multiply these things. So here I'm going to actually bring down 10 times x or 10x. And here I'm going to bring down 4 times x, or 4x. So I have 10x times 6 log base 2 of 2, plus 4x times the log base square root of 8 of the square root of 8. Well, this right here is just 1, square root of 8 to the first is itself. And this right here is 1, because 2 to the first is itself. And what I have left over is 60x plus 4x. And that gets me 64x, right? Okay, so that's our second.